Yo, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to a reaction to on episode one of the brand new season of a re a z a row. Um, so let me tell you the rundown real quick, the lowdown, the situation. If I could uh, have your attention, season one, season two, we've already watched. It's all up already on the channel already. Ch shout out the description where I'm gonna have a little playlist for you, you know, uh, so you can uh, get yourself a little caught up on there. I've rewatched most of season one. I did last Sunday on stream with a little challenge. There's going to be a video coming out on that relatively soon. Um, so we're somewhat ready for this. I spent the last like two hours getting quizzed in the Discord by a bunch of people being like, Oh, who is Julius? Oh, who is Subaru? Oh, what is uh, Minerva's? Blah, blah, blah. So we're, I think I'm somewhat here, okay? Because I know it's been a minute. It's been two years since I watched season two roughly, but I think we're roughly here. Um, after this episode, I'm sure I'm gonna have all sorts of questions. Let me just boom get it up because we're gonna jump into it pretty quick here But um, so after this episode if there's any holes in my memory immediately we're going on fixing duty All right, shout out the comments where I'm gonna be um, you know, I'm a big comments guy I love checking the comments. So if y'all got big pieces of information that it looks like I'm forgetting feel free to let me know down, know down there uh, But if you spoil me your comment will be deleted. So yeah, that's the situation. Um, all right, episode one of the brand new season, though. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. Um, shout out the description, and I have a link to the Patreon if you want to get full opacity, full audio, blah, blah, blah. But without further ado, let's just jump into it in a three, a two, a one. Bang! Timer right here. For the new people, timer right here. You know how it goes. Oh. My boy! My boy practicing to be a SEAL team operative. What do you got, Subaru? What are you doing this for? Damn, he's got a whip! Nice! That's so random. You're a whip guy now? <laughs> Good job, Subaru. That's my goat. Oh, hello, Betty. Thank you. They got a good relationship right now. I, I ain't forget about that, bro. They're like fully locked in. Already been a year. Wait. Have we really had. It's really been that long? My goodness. I didn't know they were contracted though. Yeah. That, that I remember. Dang, a year? Are you really being honest right now? Okay. Heard. Understood. Yes, sir. Where is Garfield? Where is Garfield? Can we bring Garfield in? Are you gonna? No. Okay. Who is that? Petra? Petra the maid? What's good with you? Look at Betty miming him, dude. <laughs> They're both doing the same thing. Okay, that's cute. Hello? Oh my goodness. I forgot about the cat kids, bro. Mimi, Momo, Shmomo, Lolo. I don't want to talk to Mimi this early, bro. Mimi, I'm a grown-up woman now. Yeah. Are you now? Why are you here? Yeah, that means your uh, gang is here, yeah? Okay. Guess not. Whose pink dress is that? Was that Mimi's? I, I wasn't looking at her clothes. Oh, no, that's just Betty's. Okay, so, so, sorry.
Wait, bars. Yeah, he really just walked up with three really small people. <laughs> That's, yeah. Garfield! I love Garfield. Where's Otto too? Otto and Amelia are in here? Show me them. Wait. Is that Julius right there? And this is him? Who are you? True? I do remember the knighting ceremony. Wait, who is this guy? Okay, fair enough. Joshua, all right. Yeah, Julius is like brother or something. Yeah, they look like exactly the same. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what kind of rumors? What do you mean he looks so sweet? No, he's sweet. Something so. <laughs> you tell him, Otto. It's a. It's a. Yeah. Mm, that's a weird thing that baby is. Uh, is that what we're calling her? Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not. That doesn't make bait. Yeah, thank you. She had to learn that. I remember that. You study? What did you study? Dang, they really referencing the past seasons quick, bro. She's just the spirit, bro. It's just my little contract. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, Garfield. Garfield is the muscle, bro. He like the bodyguard. True. At least Subaru can force it out. I'm I an mean, auto's right. Yeah, get onto him for that for sure. He's 22, okay. Once she assumes the throne, sure, yeah. Oh, this guy's tripping. Well, knightly ways, I mean, I know Reinhardt would destroy him in a fight though, yeah. But I'll let it slide, I'll let it slide. Thank you, Garfield. Exactly. Yeah, let's eat some ba 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 na mom. Why is Mimi doing that? I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Alright, important message. Shut up. The Watergate City? Alright, well that's not true. Ar already it's not true. Oh wait, what do you mean?
Okay, but out of the goodness of her heart? That's where I'm at, yeah. Kararagi. <laughs> Venice, and that's really funny. Little Venice reference, shout out people in Venice. Uh, that's normal? Oh, okay. <laughs> this, this doesn't seem like a very like intuitive city. Like, like, yeah, like, that would have been so hard to create. Like logistically. Yes, it is wrong to believe that. Yeah, do not trust her. She's like the merchant, like, menace, bro. But I want that crystal, though. Yeah. It's worth it. Oh my goodness. Ooh, good music track for Roswell. It's kind of spooky and like, what's up for Erica? It's been a minute, it's been a minute. I love this music for some reason, bro. Okay, that's squad goals. That's a good squad. Oh yeah, and we have Beatrice too. That's actually a really good point. So yeah, that's even a stronger squad. That's a squad of five. Otto, why are you getting shwasted? <laughs> Otto, stop getting shwasted. Ten auto, yeah, what is that? Ten autos a day, keeps the Garfield at bay. Okay, okay. Oh, hello, whose door is this? Rem, question mark? Is she, I remember her body, yeah, it's probably because he looks sad. Oh, this is depressing, yeah. Ouch, he knew there wouldn't be a response. Mm, I love this music track. Wait, this was back in season one. Oh, wow. He's telling her things every day still. That's crazy. Oh, That's sweet.
I was about to say, is that Garfield's feet? Yeah, it is. Bro's just running. He's Naruto running. I'm this guy, bro. Yes, yes. Tell me all about the Royal Selection, please. Give me, give me exposition dumps. Okay. Your Anastasia has the worst group. I'm gonna be honest. I that group is so bad. All right, sorry. I'll suck. No, I'm on Team Fell. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I'm voting for Felt and Reinhardt. That's the that's the squad. That's it. And well, Amelia, you know, Amelia's pretty good too. I mean, you know what I mean. She's she's going through her character development. Oh man, I forgot how scary the Beetle Goose fight was. What's Priscilla doing? Oh, she's such a Black Widow. Dude, her throne has a heart? She has a heart throne? The Sun Princess? Yikes. What has Felt been doing? Yes! Tell me about Felt. Oh, she's, she's rallying the slums. Aw, she's the people's person, bro. Yes! Wait, okay, Team Felt, bro. Felt the move. She, dude, she's the people's person, bro. That's my candidate. Oh, yeah, she got owed. With, um, freaking that one guy that has that annoying name. I'll find it later. Anastasia's the worst candidate. She's literally just like a merchant queen. Literally. She's literally just like a business empire. So don't get into my politics. That's annoying. Exactly. It's annoying. Like, give me some... Uh, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, that's why he's drinking. Otto's a stress drinker. I don't know. Look, he's got two bottles back there. He's, he's going straight from them. Okay. Analogy, fire analogy. Betty is sitting so hard right now. <laughs> You're the moral support. You're helpful. You're just sitting here. <laughs> Pay attention to the road. Oh my goodness, we're crashing. Ooh, the lake city. Damn. Okay, it's getting flooded. Obviously, the entire point of it being a lake city is so that the walls get like attacked by like bad people and then the entire city gets flooded and everyone dies and that happens like three times. You know what I mean? And by three times, I mean like return by death, you know? Like this is such a dangerous locale, bro. Are you kidding me right now, man? Sorry, I'll calm down. <laughs> That's actually pretty sick. It really does kind of, the Venice call kind of work. 400 year old technology, what kind of technology? Meant to be a trap? A trap for what? Is Garfield on the roof? Oh, that's really scary. How can you have no records for that? The entire city was built to be a trap, but nobody knows what it's a trap for? Yikes, that is scary. Oh, little dragon boats. That's cool. He's looking over like at Patrick and being like, buzz off. It's my territory. Hey, poo.
Dude, Betty is like glued to his side. Uh, you're not getting any facial reaction, Anastasia. Let's go, Julius. Julius, get hey, Julius is my boy. I like my boy Julius. All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that. That's fine. Be cordial. Your temperament has not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Otto, no. <laughs> Otto is ready to... <laughs> Otto is like, I am! No, he's not talking to you, Otto. Jesus. <laughs> Subaru, come on. Lock in. Yeah, that's facts. He only has his little, like, dots that, like, follow him. His little... His little blips, his little fireflies. She just wants some snacks, man. Let her snack. I'm losing my mind. Mimi, get out of my show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't hate. I won't hate. I won't hate. I won't hate. I don't have a hating bone in my body. Put some respect on auto next time, Julius. Come on. Oh, wow, this really is just, just a Japanese location. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, maybe it was connected, um... Because that actually could make sense in the world because we, yeah, so somebody probably made this happen that was from Japan, like, li like literally. Yeah, so Hoshin was probably actually a uh, isekai person, right? Yeah, he, he absolutely did that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So yeah, they're not trolling with this. This is legit. This is a legit, um, yeah, exactly. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. At first I thought they were just kind of being like, oh, let's copy the aesthetic. But no, they're being, they're, that's, a, that's an actual plot point. Bro is on his knees. <laughs> Sorry. Auto do be our business boy of the group. Hello? What a title. The Songstress Maniac? I was kind of thinking she, but okay. <clears throat> Whoa. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. So what happens if somebody attacks the tower and destroys it? You know what I mean? I'm just ready for shit to go wrong, all right? I'm, I'm calculating ahead. Can you swim? Fair. Uh, that's fair. Oh, he's no this.
Super, what are you doing? Are you gonna throw up? No? He is, he is, he is. He's seasick. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Bro, unlucky, unlucky. That's funny. No, we're splitting the party because he he's so sick. That is so unlucky. Wait, are we gonna just walk or run? Aww. That was sweet. Good transition. Little little sky transition. Betty, what are you? Oh, we're just lost. Okay, we're definitely lost. Understood. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, okay, Beatrice. Oh my goodness, I'm a scared. This person's a problem. Who is it about to be? Oh, just kidding. We're fine. Oh, there's like a park in the middle. Okay. This character has a design, so they're definitely important. No money, no dreams, no future. All I have is my pride. <laughs> I'm just a pathetic person. Yeah, I'm... Ah! I was kind of doing that too, Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it, throw it at him, lady. That lady's about to throw that. I, okay. Holy, I was right. You see those potatoes? She was charging up those potatoes, bro. Hilarious. What a hilarious line. Bro, uh, oh, Betty. No, come on, please. Okay. Do wa wa age differences in love is crazy. Yo, what are we talking about? Everyone says it's weird, but that doesn't, okay. These lyrics are crazy. If I stand up straight, I can reach you. Is that because of the height difference? She has a good voice though. Okay. Subaru's rapping, Subaru's rapping. Wait, he already knows this song? Wow, okay. Yeah, me too, Betty. Real, real. Liliana, thank you finally for your name. I was just trying to, okay. Liliana, boom. Got it. A bard. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good question. Yeah, I w that's what I first thought. 
Okay. Interesting. We stumbled into her. Good RNG. Really good RNG. This, these straps, the, the straps all over her are kind of strange. Interesting design. Yeah, yeah. No, stop. No, stop, stop. I don't want to hear you sing for the third time. Thank you. <laughs> you got a good voice, but like, all right. I didn't realize this was a musical. It's a musical? Okay. <laughs> That's a line. That is a line. <laughs> yeah. Well said. Yeah, thank you. Just drop it on her. Drop the nuke. Oh! Oh, no. I didn't know that was his title. Okay, but I, I, at least he got some respect. I like that he, he, you know, his name's getting around. Yeah, Sword Demon Wilhelm. True, true. True. Exactly. Good, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, hello? This guy. Will the little girl use her? How many little girls has he been using? Like, like it for fighting, you know? I, what is that? I mean, Betty's next to him, so it's kind of brutal. Bro, Liliana's got so much energy, bro. Her last name's Masquerade. She, she chose that herself. All right, I mean, I'm, this seems good. This seems good, yeah. Use the songstress on the songstress's maniac. This is OP. Good business negotiation. Can I have it please? Amelia, come on, we need to lock in. Is that my darling? That's what he's thinking right now. Yo. Ew, she's probably slobbering all over his hand. Ew, ew, ew. Oh! Uh, uh, uh. He's gonna throw a crystal at you! Alright, Subaru died. GG. Yup. Okay. Oh, no, not yet. Okay, well, that could have gone better. However, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah! 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 Scary! Scary, this is bad! This isn't normal, right? Super, look over. I don't remember who knows about how he looks. I am scared. No, no, we don't know. Isn't this guy literally the greed one? Regulus? I guess we, oh shoot, none of them know. 
Oh no, bro. I agree. <laughs> the most ominous line I've ever heard. I agree. <laughs> He smelled weird. All right, well, that went horrible. It could have gone a lot worse, to be fair. I mean, like, nothing kind of happened, but he's here. Okay. I'm going to have to recheck what he, what exactly who exact like exactly what happened in the last meeting with him like when he pulled up on the like cart i need to recall with all the return by deaths it's so hard to remember what happens when because the timeline changes all the time you know i mean that's just makes me th is that cotton candy one of the three goons from the start of the show no way it is Super, do you, you, do you... Yeah, he's wearing his same, same chain, bro. Yes, he literally had the chain back then too. This little goon. Exactly. Dumb, dumber, dumber. You have a name? Is that the first time we've gotten his name? That's really funny. Okay, Ratchins. Yeah, he jumped me and shanked me that one time. Exactly. <laughs> kill him. Betty, kill him. <laughs> Garfield, kill him. Hello? <gasps> oh, shit. I didn't know you were- I didn't know Ratchets had these connections. Yo! That's not gonna do anything, Garfield. I know one thing about Reinhardt, no one beats Rein Reinhardt in a 1v1 in a, like... Yeah, it's just not happening for a while. You need to do some crazy shit. It's such an interesting world-building thing to just have one guy that is so OP. That isn't like the main character. I well, he, Super's obviously OP in, OP in his own way, but also super underpowered, you know. But Reinhardt is such an interesting world building idea. Ooh, that was clean. That little that was clean. I I do like Reinhardt, and I guess it makes sense, right? For Rachin, he's a uh, he's one of the slum people that um felt's been uh cooperating with, so this makes sense. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, felt been making moves. Felt been making moves out there. So humble. Oh, that makes sense because of um Wilhelm's wife. I guess he would have the similar connection, yeah. Right? That pro that's probably what he's talking about. Oh my goodness, this show is so complicated. <laughs> There's so much shit. <laughs> Bro has the weirdest outfit on, bro. He's got like pink striped gray pants. Garfield, put some shoes on. No, it's, I'm, I'm just kidding. You're fine. Humility. Ooh, yeah. Good line, Betty. Really good line. and Krush. Yeah, I feel like. 
Wilhelm. <laughs> I didn't even see him. It just cut to him sitting there. Well, that was good, Wilhelm. Oh my goodness, have we seen these two talk before? What's going on there? Wait, I... <laughs> Dude, what is going on? Is that family drama? I didn't know they were directly grandfather grandson, but I guess that makes sense. I guess? I knew they were part of the same family roughly because of uh, the sword saint shit, but like... That's crazy. I didn't I didn't know that for I didn't know that direct. Also, it's funny that every group except for Priscilla is here in some way. Priscilla, you're talking about Priscilla. Yeah, that's crazy. Cuz I mean, Felt's not here, but Reinhardt is, you know. You gotta tempt them something, yeah. Okay. Oh, because he's the one that... Wait, what? Okay. What's going on? Oh no, because Rem. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. Exactly, yeah. Okay, okay, thank goodness. I was, I, I was like, I'm almost certain that's why he's upset right now, but okay, thank you, Krush. Yeah, it is. She actually is here. Comes in like she owns the place immediately. That's really funny. You think she's gonna listen, bro? She got her own fit. She got the people's fit. <laughs> Yo. Is she, uh, is she gonna sit, oh, she's just, okay, she's doing her little bow. I thought she was gonna sit at the front just to be like, I'm the boss. I was about to lose my mind. No. Ooh, a little bathhouse segment, a little sauna. Okay. They got massage chairs. You think about Reinhardt still? Damn. Mmm. I like that mindset though. That is a growth mindset. He's he's ready to get stronger. Oh, Betty in the new outfit. She's rolling stealth. She wants to be seen so bad. She wants to be seen so bad. <laughs> That's so goofy. She tried so long to get seen, bro. That's all she wanted, bro. Is she also in one? Yeah, okay. He's about to lose his mind. 
Okay. Not the harp playing with the sway of her hair. Okay. <laughs> Mild fever of love. Felix! Oh, she's trying to settle that. Oh, felt it so sweet. You're gonna make, yeah. I bet he kind of appreciates that because I bet everybody sucks up to him all the time because he's like that guy. But she doesn't, so I bet, I bet he actually appreciates that. <laughs> Super set, I'm hungry, later. <laughs> That's funny. That was, that was a Giga Chad move right there. Yo, Garfield, what's going on? Oh, what is going on? What is happening? What is happening? Oh, is he, is this like, is he having like the hallucination episode? Yo. Yeah, that fight was, cra oh my goodness. I forgot how crazy that fight went, bro. I need to rewatch that fight. That fight was crazy. All right, all right, all right. His inferiority is going crazy right now. <laughs> Garfield is not in the mood for Mimi right now, bro. Garfield is, Garfield is like, are you kidding me right now? Uh. She said, just speak, bro. We're fine. If she has raised Garf's mood though, we gotta give we gotta give her that. We gotta give her that one. I won't give her much in this world, but I'll give her that one. Nah, he says not. Nah, what's about to happen? Is he gonna save the ship? Wait, 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 what's about to happen? That random boat is just losing its mind. Runaway boat! Garth, go save the kids! Oh, his fear of water. He has to get over his fear of water right now. But look, he doesn't even hesitate. Because Garf's my goat. This is such a confidence boost for him. He literally got rolled, and now he's getting so much like... You know what I mean? Yeah, they do call him Gorgeous Tiger. That's true. I've heard that before. <laughs> gorgeous to gorgeous. Dude, things are going so well right now. What is about to go wrong? You know what I mean? This is stressing me out. 
Ooh, this music though, this sounds like a Mario like underwater music. Betty's pogging, Betty's pogging. Oh, wasabi. She just had some wasabi, bro. Oh my goodness, now I want sushi. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me, ReZero? Dude, this little, little sailor kid, bro. Oh, he's walking them all home. Heh. <laughs> True. Okay, who's the sister about to be? Oh, it's just some kid. Okay. This kid, dude, he looks a lot like Garfield. They both have, they both have green eyes, blonde hair. Wait. Oh my goodness, he's flashbacking to his his PTSD again with is it kind of yeah with his mom. Oh my goodness, or does it look just like her? What is going on, man? Is that her? I was just saying that the kid looked like Garfield. Is that her? Oh my goodness, no, bro. Or is he just PTSD tripping? Uh, it actually probably is. Uh-oh, that's really a big twist. Uh-oh, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Oh my goodness. Where's Subaru? Okay. That's actually probably fine though. I mean, it's just mom business. I mean, that's good, right? I don't know. I mean, there was a lot of baggage there. <laughs> Good line. Good line, Wilhelm. Bruh. Especially now. Flowers, yep. That, that was a really big motif for them. Ooh. Aww. But you're an important, useless, insignificant loser, you dork. Nah, that was that was cooking. Yeah, yes, yes, please tell me about that situation. Yes, okay. Thank you. What's up with that? He was a little baby when this happened.
You gotta tell Reinhardt this. Yeah. Nah, you'll make it happen, bro. Okay. So he, like, neglected family in his pursuit of avenging his wife. And that's where the rift formed. That seems to be the situation. Still need to find Garfield. Quick little calisthenics uh, work. Uh, good morning warm-up. Victory! Yep, I got you. I got you. Dude, Garfield's about around the corner, like, sobbing. <laughs> Guys, I found my mom! <laughs> Who's that? Oh, it's Otto. Otto, are you okay? Did you drink too much? Dude, Otto, stop drinking. He wanted some sake. Okay, he's been networking. That's the best time to drink. Networking. Is that the... That's our idea? <laughs> I mean, he's trolling, but... What's up, felt? <laughs> oh, does he have like a, a blessing for that? That's crazy. I wonder how he can do that. It could be so much. It could be like a million things. Bro, this season's exciting because Reinhardt's in it, and I want to see him just go nuts. I want to see something go really wrong and for him to just destroy a bunch. You know what I mean? It's like a walking nuke. I also just... Dude, this is a... There's so much going on already. I'm so excited for things to go horribly wrong. Your looks? That is not up your sleeve. You wear that all on your sleeve. Okay. Thank goodness. We've lost Mimi. Yeah. Yeah, the, the trio there. Why are they looking at us? Okay, that's why. <laughs> Let me summon my attendants. Oh my goodness, it's like hop, like like they a cup uh hibachi or whatever was the... She's a chef. She's cooking she's cooking in front of him, bro. This is lit. Oh wait, we're all cooking. 
Nice. I'm proud of this one. You can eat it. They're all trying to cook for Subaru, bro. What is Auto doing? Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, you tell him. Bro, Auto's the perfect house husband. He knows how to cook. I already know. Dang. Reinhardt's a perfect... Reinhardt's a monster on these. He's a pan, uh, uh, whatever these are called. I don't even know what these are. Did you burn yours? <laughs> they got an announcement system? Yo, they got an announcement system in the city. That's cool. That's going to be really relevant. A bomb, 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 bomb. This central tower, is it from the central tower probably? Yeah, that's gonna be so important, bro. Songstress. We're talking about Liliana. Oh my goodness, she's gonna... Okay, it's the radio, but we can't turn it off. I would lose my mind in this city. Every morning I'm trying to sleep and I just hear... I'm trying to sleep. I'm trying to sleep. That's relevant. <laughs> Sorry, that random guy was so inspired, bro. These random civilians are so like, oh my goodness. I guess, I mean, this is kind of lit for them. They don't get radio all the time, so they're not annoyed by the constant, you know what I mean? For them, this is super special. So we gotta we gotta respect it. We gotta respect it. Yeah, kinda awkward for him a little bit. And Reinhardt's in the room. That's kinda awkward too, but they are next to each other as well. Help me help me my my grandson. Aw, that's a good start, good start, good start. Yeah, I like that. Reinhardt's willing to willing to make that happen, bro. Hello, hello, hello. Who is this? Red hair. Yeah. Okay. Another red hair made me think of his wife. That's why he has red hair. Okay. This could be like the evil version of uh, Reinhardt in, in, in the familial relation. So Reinhardt's willing to make this happen, right? What is going on? Wait, is it how important? Vice Captain! Okay. I thought this guy was not going to be nearly that important. Whoa. This guy's probably mad strong then. Wait, in name only? Okay, just kidding. Heinkel. Like Heinz ketchup. Okay, I got you. Whoa! A lot of energy. <laughs> yeah, repeating it's crazy, Wilhelm. Re repeating it's crazy. You can't just yell his name twice. He really said his name three times in a row. Oh, is this his dad? Or, wait. Wait.
He's bringing in all the real stuff. What is going on? Okay, y'all gotta explain this shit. I keep, what is going on? Ooh, name dropping her is crazy. Ooh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Half demon is a crazy thing to say. She's cooking with that. Because he has to answer that he just came here to stir up shit because he sucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he just got clowned on by every single person, bro. Priscilla? Is that Priscilla? Oh my goodness, he's connected to Priscilla? Why is he connected to Priscilla? The worst characters are connected to each other. Like the meanest, you know? Oh my goodness. Okay, Al's my goat though, Al's my goat. Yeah, he like licked your feet. I've never forgotten that moment, personally. <laughs> I like Al. Al's kind of my go, bro. Yes. Yeah. Heinz, Ketchup, and Priscilla. But why? Alright, she's just a dick. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Dude, they everyone keeps yelling each other's names. Hein! Priscilla! What what are you what is going on? What is going on? Ooh. Good move, buddy. Vixen? Reinhardt's dad, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. That's what I thought. I wanted to make sure. Ooh, Feld doesn't give in to provocations. Isn't going to Reinhardt? Felt was on that, bro. It wasn't that wasn't a catch-up. She literally uh, first thing she says was, yeah, I already know what's going on. Why is he so mean to his son? Why do you, why doesn't he like Reinhard? We have to kill your dad. Thoughts? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, a good move. Good move, Fel. This guy is so drunk. Okay. My goodness, she has one of those? She can just summon a sword? I did not realize Priscilla was uh, strong like that. 
The Yang sword? Yin, Yang. That's, is that light then? Oh, Sun Princess. That's why she's the Sun Princess. Because because the other one would be, who are you? Would be like shadow magic, which is what Subaru does, right? So does she, is she a fit, have good affinity with the uh, light magic? Which is basically the sun thing. Is that what's going on there? I don't know. That makes sense. Why are you so overconfident? Why is she that confident? Like, what does she have up her sleeve? <laughs> That's a good line. I liked that. <laughs> Don't take it out on the floor. <laughs> righteous indignation that's facts no but that's that's actually true because it was righteous like everybody you know so they were super got to do it or yeah you get what i mean That's a ooh, ooh, ooh. No, he will. What is going on in this family? Okay. That's good advice. That way, he thinks he's a poet now. <laughs> yeah, see, so we're just like accidentally made him flashback like 20 years, bro. Ah, oh, I was four years old and my mom called me Yuli. <laughs>
Now we're back to Liliana. She's cooking. Is there like another performer? Oh my goodness, is that Priscilla performing with L Liliana? Bruh. That is so random. She's literally just hot. Wait, that's the ace up her sleeve. She's just hot and good at dancing. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, we're fine. The little girl too. I don't know. Okay, maybe she just did that for fun instead of for like an actual reason. Okay, I guess it was. That's cool. She gotta respect a good a good uh, bard. Oh. <laughs> nah, she a uh, free spirit. She only has her pride. That's what she said. No money, no dreams, just pride. I respect that. You gotta respect that move. Ooh. Dang. Yeah. Oh, you gotta, you gotta appreciate that. Even Priscilla gotta appreciate that one. Yeah. Dang! She's putting crazy respect on her. She calls herself the boorish one. Dang. In one place. Ooh. Okay. I that's that's some narcissism, but I can appreciate the way you've used it. Yeah. It's that's a crazy way to think, but I can uh, I can understand it. Dude, she's animated so much. The animators cry whenever she appears on screen, bro. She moves so much. Bells, bells. Yeah, she wants snacks. Give, say yes, give her snacks. There we go. Thank you. Uh, con candy. I'm gonna, this guy, bro. I'm just walking with snacks. <laughs> the elbow, the elbow. What? What's wrong? Problem! All right, the bell means that this is about to happen. That's gonna be important in the future. Cause this is a problem. So we're gonna know whenever the bell rings that this is about to happen. Wrath. Wait. Is that the same as the other last name or no? I mean, this is, yeah, this isn't a joke. Romani Conti. Oh boy.
Oh my goodness, she's pointing at Subaru and a random girl and two random guys. <laughs> Wait, what were the three of them? Okay. All good. Dang, she's got the normal witch hood. She it's flipped down though. Dang, she got full bandage gear. Her entire body. <laughs> this woman has lost her mind. Like like, I don't even... <laughs> He's saying hurry up. Okay. Oh, wow. Her eyes, like, burnt. Wait. What? I'm... Okay. I don't know what's going on anymore. It looked like she was burned. Super is taking this really casually. He doesn't he doesn't think that she's being legit, bro. She's she's legit, bro. Look at her. You're laughing at her? Look at her. She's terrifying. That's just me. Time to nuke everyone. She, yeah, she's about to do something crazy. Heart? Ugh. She's like, I'm, what, does she have a connection to Beetle Goose or am I tripping? That's where I'm stuck right now. I need to look at last name spellings, bro. Okay, here it comes. Thank you. My goodness. Time to murder. Who is, ooh, what's about to be on the end of the chain? Oh no, it's a person. It's a child, it's just some kid that peed himself? <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> What's the plan? What do you mean, guys? What is this? This isn't normal. What? No, wait, has she infected them with something? Wait, 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 okay, no, no, no. There's no way this is normal. There's gotta be some sort of magic going on, because there's no way they're seeing this and are laughing along, especially Subaru, yeah? So something's happened already. She's got something, some ability or some shit, bro. No way. <laughs> okay. Oh, he sacrificed himself for his per for his other person, for the girl. Okay, the kid's goaded for that. It's a shame that he's... Yeah, they're all infected, bro. They got like this like crowd, men like crowd violent, like infection going on, man. Like a mob mentality, bro. They got this like crazy mob, which makes sense for wrath, you know? Oh, this is scary. Oh, well, which is cold. Maybe that's what... I don't know. Oh, is this going to snap him out? Come on, snap him out. No? It's over. <laughs> Dude, this is for... Oh, no, bro. The lighting change goes crazy right now. Their eyes all have, like, a glint of red. Eek! Eek!
Are we just gonna kill the kid? What are we gonna do? What's the plan here? What's the play? Yeah! Thank you! <laughs> this kid's trying, bro. Bro, it's like Lion King. It's Lion King. This is so weird. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. She like connected all of them and then they all got killed by him getting killed. They all took the fall damage. Wow, the jump back is really short. It's like a 10 minute jump. Just to go get snacks. And he felt all those emotions probably for real. He probably felt all those emotions for real, bro. Which is probably why he feels so horrible right now. Yo, that's a scary ability, bro. Theatrical malice. Wait, is that the end? That was the fastest hour and a half of my life. I thought that was like a midway point. Okay, 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 okay. What, I, I, okay. Okay, so, which is Cole? Romani Conti, wasn't that Beetlegoose's last name? Or was that just like the witch cult last name? Maybe it was just like a witch cult last name. Cause I, she obviously has a connection to the witch cult, but that doesn't mean she has a connection like more specifically to Beetle Goose, Beetle Goose, whatever. Um, but the reason that I kind of was a little unsure is that she, her skin was burnt and he like died by getting fire, like lit on fire. And then like, you know, so I was like, is there like a deeper connection there? I don't know. So that's something I'm gonna have to figure out, but it might just be that all, like all the witch cult people like take on the last name of Romani Conti, you know, cause she has the hood. So she's definitely like locked in in that way. Um, but I need to rewatch Beetlegoose's death scene. Man, I gotta rewatch so much, bro. I need to rewatch Beetlegoose's death scene. I need to rewatch Regulus attacking to see like who is everyone that saw that. Cause that was also part of the, um, of losing the memories, yeah? I need to, re so I need to rewatch that. Dang, bro. She's scary though, Wrath is scary. Cause she like, it's so fitting, bro. Wrath got everybody into this like hyped up, like mob mentality, like rage, you know? And then use that to kill everybody by sacrificing one person. That's crazy. It's also been what, it's been a year since, since the uh, se season two. That's surprising. I didn't, I didn't know that. Which is crazy, because that means he hasn't died in a year. He even said that, right? He said, like, it's been a year since I returned by death. Something like that. Okay. Oh, man. And then the Wilhelm drama. I think I'm pretty good on the Wilhelm family drama. I think that makes sense to me. The one thing that didn't make sense to me, I'm going to have to... They said, like, one line about it. They kept... They were blaming Re Reinhardt for killing the wife. Um, but... Was that more literal or was that just saying that like he was there and he didn't stop it from happening? So I'm not, I need to, oh, what happened with her specifically? I mean, it's kind of a little bit same difference, right? But like the directness of his hand in that would make Wilhelm's position make more sense, right? With being so upset with him. So that's important. Wilhelm family drama. Um, this wrath lady's connection to the witch cult and if that is more connected to Petal Goose in any way just because of the Romani Conti thing um what exactly happened with Regulus and Lie which was gluttony and greed right I need to rewatch that scene just to make sure I'm not forgetting anything um
I wish I had the lyrics to this song. I'm like, ooh, this part kind of go hard though. But I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> um, each of the families makes sense, or each of the like, okay, each of the each of the. Wait, shut up. That part went hard. Okay. When the lyric, when I get lyrics for that, then we're actually gonna we're gonna have to engage in that and see what they're yapping about. Each of the. Each of the different groups, though, is something we need to make sure we're crystal clear on. I think that makes sense to me, though. Spooky. Spooky scary. Okay. So. Wow. That was a lot. Oh, and Garfield and his mom. <laughs> There's so much happening. There's so much happening. Okay. Garfield and his mom. Mom PTSD. We're going to need to check on that again. Um... Because abandoned by the mom, went to live in that other separate place that was like separate from everything, you know. Um, we're gonna have to double check on what exactly we know about that situation because Garfield's mom is now in the picture again, so it's irrelevant again. Um, Frederica's back at the house, so she's not gonna be connected to this, sadly, but um, that's very important for Garfield, right? And Garfield's gone, so we still don't know what exactly has gone ha been the case with that. So Garfield and his mom, bing, ding, ding, we need that. Um, all the different like royal selection candidates and their parties we need to be locked in on. I think I'm good on that though, right? Like where the party allegiances are. Um, the Astria family, oh, this right here. The Astria family specifically is kind of a mess because Wilhelm is like, well, is Wilhelm with Krush? Is that fair to say? I don't even know who Wilhelm's really with. He's just kind of here. And I think he's with Krush, yeah? I guess this is kind of why I'm asking, right? Because we need to be sure on who everyone's allegiance is with. Um, yeah, well, he's, or he's sitting kind of by Anastasia. Okay, so I need to figure out who Wilhelm's connected with specifically. Um, but then, obviously, Reinhardt's connected with Felt. And then uh, Heinz, Heinkel, is connected to Priscilla. Oh, I'm going to put that in my notes. Heinkel... Priscilla, um, I'm just gonna do that, that'll, that'll be enough for me. So that's an entire mess. So there's the, the drama between that. It's really funny how right when, they were making progress, bro. Right when Wilhelm was like, finally trying to connect with Reinhardt a little bit, the guy comes in and says like, the sins of the past will not be so evilly, easily forgiven. You know what I mean? He literally comes in right when there's a slight connection formed just to be like, Ugh. as if you could, it could be that easy, you know, which is kind of a classic, right? Like things would be so easy, but we can't let it be right. The sins of the family type type shit. So I'm intrigued to see where that goes though. This Heinkel guy just sucks. He literally introduces himself, says I'm the worst. Y'all should hate each other more. And then, come, and then Priscilla walks in and he's like, and this is my girl right here. You literally are just the worst in like 10 different ways. You, you're, you, you have no respect for yourself by being captain in name. You probably have no sword ability, probably have very little strength because it's captain in name. Every single person in the building called you boorish and said you were awful. Um, and you're just causing shit for no reason. You're just the worst. Like, what are you even here to do, bro? And that's why Amelia's response is so good because he's just coming in stirring shit and Amelia's like, What's your goal here? And he, he can't answer because he doesn't have a goal other than to just be a dickhead. And he can't, what is he supposed to say? Like, I'm just here to be a dickhead, you know? Because that's not going to do it. That's going to look so bad. His optics, bro. So that's really... Amelia really cooked with that one. Um, Why is Al got to be connected to Priscilla? I like Al, you know? So it's like, why can't we... Why can't we... Uh, Al, we got to get you on our squad. F Priscilla. Get rid of her. Felt also. I really like how Felt was doing. Um, she seems to have really locked in, bro. Because right, like back at the Royal Selection way back in season one, she really was just like, I'm good. I hate all of this. And this is dumb. And I'm going to do my thing. But she's kind of kept the energy to the point that like, like she's, she's self-confident enough that you can actually kind of rally behind the position of it. Right? And so like, I mean, and she's got Reinhardt on her side right here. She's giving in to no provocations and is giving advice to him being like, just, just don't say anything. Look proud. That's all I need you to do. 
right? She's She was really cooking in this engagement. I feel like she was making really good moves, right? Very mature. And then previously we saw like in the carriage ride that she was like uh, working with the slums people, you know? So it's like, oh, she's actually campaigning right now. She's just dealing with the people she's familiar with and trying to fix the problems that she's aware of, you know? Um, so I quite liked that. Uh, it's really funny. So, so felt big wins for felt. It's really funny that I noticed, I was like, wow, these two look really similar. They both have green eyes and blonde hair. And then literally 20 seconds later, it's like, oh, and they're related. <laughs> well, yeah. So that was, uh, that was good foreshadowing from, from the, um, the show there to do their designs. Honestly, they were, they were doing that a lot, bro. With, with, uh, uh, Reinhard. Wait, no, sorry. With, uh, oh my goodness, Garfield. Garfield and his familial connection to that kid, blue hair, or blonde eyes, green, oh my goodness, I'm so lost. Blonde hair, green eyes, and then they did the same thing with Julius and his brother, where they had a very similar design. So as soon as Joshua showed up, first thing I think is, oh, this guy's either Julius or connected to Julius. So they did it with Josh introducing Joshua, the designs foreshadow a familial connection, introducing Garfield's mom, um, this, the, the, you know, how they look, does the same thing there. And then the same thing again with, with Hein, right? With Heinkel, uh, how he looks like Reinhard. So boom, it's funny. Well, I didn't even think Reinhard, I, when he first walked in, I thought of the wife, right? I thought of Wilhelm's wife. Um, but I mean, and that's also true, right? That that's the connection there. So it's funny, they, they use that technique a lot this episode um, where they were introducing people through their uh, like familial connections, right? And so, so it's, it's all implied and then it's explained, right? Uh, this entire scene was crazy at the end too. We'll get to that later. Um, shoot. What even, oh, there's so much that just happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Puck, that's another thing. I need to remember exactly what we need to make Puck come back. Um, because they were saying like a, the, the, the crystal for the catalyst. So I need to rewatch that. Do I need to, I might make a shopping list of, of rewatch stuff. Okay, rewatch shopping list. This is what we are here for. This is what we're here for. Puck, we need to all be locked in on Puck's situation. Puck and the crystal, boom. Uh, we need Puck on the crystal. We need the, um, Wilhelm's wife, family drama, death. We need to know everything we want about that. That's all. That's going to be very relevant. Um, Ram, I'm pretty good on the different factions. I'm pretty good on. Okay. Yeah. Crucian and Wilhelm were connected. There we go. This is, this is a, what I was looking for. Uh, Crush party. Man, that's crazy, bro. Three of the different Astrias or whatever are connected to three different parties, right? Felt, uh, Krush, and Priscilla. That's crazy. So yeah, the family drama is going to be very important when it when it comes to navigating this other drama. But like I said it once, I'll say it again. Anastasia's group sucks so bad. I I don't like the three Gremlins nor Ricardo. You know, I've been a I've been a Maybe they can come around for me, right? Mimi was 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 helping Garfield feel better, so I gotta give Mimi some credit for that. But they've always been like my the goons, bro. And Anastasia's always been my least favorite of the five uh, royal candidates too. So it's really funny how they're all like grouped up in that area. We're like this group. Look at the comparison. This group versus Krush, Felix, Wilhelm. Krush, Felix, Wilhelm sweep. All they got is Julius on their side. You know what I mean? Garfield, stop doing a Naruto run outside the carriage and come in and sit down. My goodness. But yeah, so those are important. We need to we need to get back locked in with that. Oh, the Beetle Goose connection. Okay, so what was the girl's name at the end? This freaking girl that was going crazy. This scene was crazy. It, it's it's crazy. Okay, serious Romani Conti. Holy crap! What is going on? I can't take this shit. Serious Romani Rom Roman E dash Conti. Oh my goodness! Because remember, Be Beetlejuice had the entire thing in the flashback where we got to know him better. So is this girl relevant to all of that nonsense? Yeah, I don't know. Let's. That's gonna go in the rewatch shopping list. Serious 
potential connection to Beetle Goose. Um, to, to Beetle Goose slash Witch Colt. We need that for sure. Um, because that's obviously going to be relevant, right? Silver hair too. Silver hair, like Amelia's family. I mean, you know what I mean? What are her ears? She's not an elf, is she? Or like a half elf or anything like that? Can I get a side profile with... No, her ears look normal. Oh, I don't know what to make of this. I really do not. But yeah, uh, this scene was so crazy. Because it's like, I wasn't sure if Subaru was just a dumb. Because I thought, I thought Subaru might have just not been taking this seriously for some reason. That like, maybe like people pretending to be part of the witch cult was just like, kind of like, you know, I was like, is Subaru really not bothered by this? And so the, the slow understanding of, oh, this is not Subaru thinking this. He's been infected with like a mind virus right now. You know, like right here, he's gone. Everybody's gone. Everyone's smiling and like laughing or whatever. I thought they were just making fun of her, but like, yeah. So all of her weird talking like this was like spreading her wrath everywhere, bro. And it's weird, bro. This is something that ReZero does super well. They, they describe the sin or like the sins um, manifest in very strange ways. So like wrath, typically would be anger, right? That's how it's like colloquially understood. But you go to the witches, you go to Minerva with wrath, and she was not wrathful, you know? She was like loving to the point of like tunnel vision, to the point of craziness, right? If I'm remembering that to be Minerva correctly. So I'm pretty sure that was. So it's like, she wasn't really wrathful in a typical sense. She had like her own spin on it. And then here, Sirius here is not at all wrathful either. She's not like angry. Right? She doesn't come across as like a warmongerer. She's like apologetic and crazy. You know, like what is she doing? She's dancing and 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 like making ever like like people are laughing at her, right? She's like inspiring people to like not take her seriously and to like lower their guard in a sense. Almost like it's a performance she's putting on, you know? She's she was like a bard in a sense. And so that's super, it's like so interesting how like you can never be sure what the sins really are like lining up with, you know? Uh, gluttony's kind of been more similar. Or like even, um, oh shoot, I had, wait, Beetle Goose, Beetle Goose is sloth. In my notes, I had him down as envy. No, he's sloth, right? Which is why him not being slothful was so crazy. Yeah, yeah, I think that's correct. Okay, um... And then Conti is Wrath. I'm assembling the notes again, bro. The re-zero notes are about to go hard, okay? Season three, I'm about to connect every single dot. Just give me a minute, all right? But yeah, so this, this entire scene was crazy. As soon as they brought the kid out, that's when it was starting to be like, no, 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 okay, this is just weird. This is a problem. Something's going wrong, you know? And I don't think this kid's name is important, right? He's just some kid. What? Well, why this kid? Luzbel Collard. I'm just gonna put him down as because maybe we're gonna hear that to be important, right? Um, Luzbel. Luzbel Collard. Because if if the name Collard gets dropped, we need to be ready for that because that's gonna be this the the father of this kid or something like that, right? Um, Luz. And this is the serious kidnapped child. That's, you know, that's normal. That's just pretty much re-zero at this point. Am I right or am I right? Also, the spikes in the chain is just rude, okay? You don't gotta have him cutting up his his mouth, like, when he's trying to, like, scream for help. Yeah, dude, this went crazy. With all the lighting change, hostility is born when we don't share with each other. Like, he, she's, this is the opposite of wrath. His hostility is wrath, right? Give me my subtitle browser. Give me a subtitle browser. Okay, she says, Rifts are born when we don't know each other. Hostility is born when we don't share with each other. If we give up because we're different, bonds cannot be born. Where are all of your hearts right now? So, wrath, she's like anti-wrath in a sense because she's, she's trying to get rid of hostility by getting everybody to be in the same mindset. She's like, 
in, as I've said like a million times, infecting everybody with this like mob mentality, which groups them together. Which is funny because in a way that's anti-wrath because it's making people not fighting each other, but also in a way it's a, it's for wrath because it's getting everybody on the same like like bloodlust in a sense, right? Where they're all okay with the death of a child. So it's it's such an interesting play with that with that sin, which is one of my favorite things about ReZero. So it's so cool that they've done it again here. Oh my goodness! Another thing in my rewatch list is the Regulus stuff. I need to rewatch re the Regulus jump scene because i need to see exactly what happened there because he's relevant and he's walking around the city you know but he had it he didn't make a move when he could have maybe there i just remember him being super op bro also pandora i'm putting pandora in my rewatch list because i just need to remember her deal what, what i'm just gonna put what is her deal is her deal because i i just i remember her being scary and weird i need to remember her deal okay the rewatch list grows if we give up between our bonds or different bonds cannot be formed. And like, oh my goodness, there comes a point where this where this bandaged insane woman is holding up a child that is chained up in a spike chain that has pissed himself and is about to like Simba throw the child into the earth. Like, what am I watching, bro? If nothing else, it's incredibly unique, you know? Oh, Subaru. I feel so bad for Subaru. Because I bet he was feeling these emotions genuinely, you know? Like, it, it, it was imposed upon him. I Maybe genuinely is not the right word then. But he was, he was feeling all these emotions of, like, like, loving to see this action and being like, Oh, the love of sacrifice, right? And that is a horrible thing for him to have to reconcile with, right? I mean, it's, it's just... It reminds me of when he was captured by Beetle Go Beetle Goose way back, and and like he went crazy, and he had to like remember how much he locked in after that and like drove himself crazy. It reminds me of one of those scenes where he's been like, impo like a bunch of this sin energy or sin mentality is imposed upon him, right? And in this way, it's directly like integrated into his mind and his emotions, right? And so for him to die from it be re revived and then have to think holy crap like i felt those things and have to reconcile that that's going to be super hard for him i mean how do you i mean it really depends on if it felt like he was like mind controlled or if it felt like he was genuinely feeling those emotions because if he was like controlled then he probably wouldn't he could like it wouldn't be like you know that'd be different than if he actually felt those things so yeah i'd be very curious how that whole thing um spins out because, man, I remember one of my really early theories that, like, didn't really pan out. But one of the really early theories I had was that, like, him doing Return by Death is, like, corroding his mind with witch energy or something. That's, like, a season one theory, you know? Um, and so it was, like, a live, like, like spiritual breakdown or something like that. And you could maybe even, like, do something with that at some point, you know? But I kind of moved away from that and being like, no, that kind of does a disservice to the psychological transformation that Subaru deals with, right? Because one of the best things about ReZero is watching Subaru go through absolutely inhu in inhumane, superhuman, in like, beyond anything anyone could comprehend, psychological damages and find ways to navigate them, right? Because he goes through, like, Return by Death is a torture beyond, like, anything, especially in this world. So, shit like this, where he is having to, he is dying by his, like, bloodlust mob mentality connection to this child, and the, his death, his, the child's death, right? For him to have to deal with that is, an inc like, an insane psychological trans thing he's gonna have to deal with, you know? So that is what I'm excited to see how that manifests. Um, cause it really depends on, like him saying like, like how horrible he felt right afterwards. I feel sick. I feel sick. And he like starts like losing it a bit. That is kind of makes us think, I think that it doesn't feel good and it feel, felt very horrible for him. Right. So I'm, I'm curious to see how that manifest, how that deals. <laughs> it's just like, my goodness. And it's all about love, right? It's all about love of, like, you know, Witch of Envy type shit, you know. Uh, little Satela, Beetle Goose, you know. It's all kind of, it sounds like that same mentality again. I mean, she is a witch cult member, very specifically. In a way that, like, she's wearing the outfit in a way that Regulus doesn't. 
right? So her connection to that philosophy of sin makes a lot of sense. Dude, this this scene with goes like like what is this scene? <laughs> she just drops him like a sack of potatoes, man. It'd be different if she chucked him, but she just went go, be gone, my baby bird, and fly. Uh, and look at her eyes, like I what happened. And the crazy thing to me is. What's really cool about this scene is right here, when they when when it was inverse colors, I thought he was laughing so hard that snot was flying out of his nose. That was my first my first intuition. There was like he, they're finding this death so like comedic and like they are so like enraptured, you know, that it's causing like, he, that he's laughing. But then it's the reveal of oh, it's blood because everyone's heads are exploding because they're all taking on this damage, you know. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's like, bro, it's like, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, like, Greek myth, you know? Of, like, Dionysian, like, madness. Like, like um, what's it called? Like a maenad or something? Like the women that Dionysus would, uh, would um, uh, drive mad or whatever. And uh, they would be in, like, a, like, literally the, uh, the Bacchae. Is that what it's called? The... It's a, uh, read the Bacchae, go read the Bacchae. It literally reminds me of this shit, bro. Where it's like normal people that have gone mad because of a fanatical devotion to some sort of feeling or sensation that leads them to like celebrate something horrible, you know? That's like, it's, it's very similar. Like it, it, it feels ancient Greek to me, bro. It feels mythological. This show is, feel, is so mythological, man. I love it. Hurry up, we're gonna be late for work. Oh my goodness, bro. She was just dancing around, having such a good time that I was like, I wonder if her pointing to people was maybe like, cause she said like, oh, you feel so, you look so mad. Didn't she say that? Maybe that's how her ability works a little bit. Um, You there, she pointed to Subaru and you, and you young men, I'm sorry, don't be so angry. So yeah, I think what, what probably happened here was a few people weren't, I bet, yeah, I bet this is what happened. Look at this random child. She's wearing like a little panda outfit. Um, I bet Subaru was resisting her ability somewhat along with a few other people in the crowd. And so she started pointing them out to like force the ability on them stronger. I could see that being in the in the cards, right? Because we don't know how it, it's manifesting. It's, it's It reminds me of, um again, Beetle Goose with like the invisible hands thing where it's like, we don't know what she's doing. But she's doing something, right? And she's, she either has like an aura or maybe her speech is doing something or maybe her like performative dancing is doing something or maybe her pointing is doing something, right? So it's like, we need to understand her ability so we can counter it, you know? Um, and so I feel like this might've been a small hint into like her ability being pushed onto individuals that like she was trying to push it onto, you know? But I, I don't know. Yeah, and right at this point, Subaru is completely, he's, he's gone, right? He's been completely overtaken by it. Um, okay, really good. Liliana, what, what, what the heck's her name? Did I even write her name down? Yeah, Liliana. Um, not sure about Liliana right now. She just seems to be a bard that's yapping. That's pretty much been her entire thing. She's just a bard. Uh, I liked her little story, though, about like, just like my mother and her mother before her and her mother before her. I'm gonna just be a bard, go with the wind, all right? Music is like the wind. We, we flow by you, we touch you, and we leave. Pause. You know what I mean? So that, I'm just kind of, all, all I am right now is like Liliana, thumbs up, right? Um, I also think her design's a little bit strange. I said that for a moment, but like her, oh my goodness. Freaking, uh, I, like the straps that, like, that go between her legs are so, that's such a strange design choice to me. Um, where it's like, She's got straps that cover her like chest and then those same straps also cover her groin. That's kind of a, it's just like, it draws attention in like weird areas to me, okay? Um, that's what the design seems to do. But you know what? Do your thing, I guess. And then she just kind of yaps and then yells, make me your woman, make me your woman, make me a woman. She's saying, bang me. No, how old are you? <laughs> Betty's like over this, bro. Me too, Betty. And then Regulus, did you say anything important or are you just yammering? 
Um, when another, you're right, my reasons for clinging to all of you are shallow for now. When another opportunity arises, fate will bring us back together on its own. Yeah, I need to rewatch his original scene because what, like, nobody reacting to him it makes me be like, holy crap, what exactly? Because if I, my guess for what happened um, is that he was probably, he was with uh, Gluttony when they attacked, right? Uh, I think they attacked as a group. So Gluttony eating a bunch of people's memories would mean that nobody would remember Regulus. My goodness, Amelia has such big boobies. Have I, I've never noticed this before. Look how, like, can we, like, lock in? Sorry. Um, but uh, that was wrong with me. That was wrong with me. Sorry, Amelia. Put some respect on Amelia's name, all right? Um, oh my goodness. Don't get Mimi on my screen, though. That's, yeah, we can get Heinz ketchup on my screen. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so I, I think that everybody lost their, anybody that was there when Regulus attacked either died or lost their memories of it. So that's probably why that reaction went as it went. It was just scary to me because he shows up and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm terrified. And then nobody responded. And then I, in my head was like, oh shit, wait, nobody knows about this guy. And that was like a mini revelation for me. Cause I kind of like, you know, I didn't realize that it was that, that, you know, if I like, if you asked me the question, I probably would have been like, oh, maybe not. But to just have it play out live was crazy. Reinhard, I quite like Reinhard. Uh, I said that a couple times during the episode. I'm excited to see where the family drama goes. The thing about Reinhard is he's kind of like a golden boy perfect child where he just, he, like, he's just nice, polite, sweet, blah, 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 all these things. Even his family drama with um, Wilhelm, like, he's navigating pretty well, you know? The worst thing he does is, like, look away kind of ashamed. He never says anything bad, right? He seems to just kind of be whipped for it, right? Um, yeah. He just seems to be a golden boy that has incredible expectations put on him, which makes me think that one day he might crack because those expectations will destroy him. But until then, he's just kind of been fine. And so what interests me about Reinhardt isn't his character, but what his character like is. It's not his character, but his character's like ability. Him being as strong as he is, is what's interesting to me. Because him being in this city means that like the different ways that shit could go wrong have like him getting involved could like change everything so fast. He, it's just what he could do that is so interesting to me. Not what his like character actually, um, not his personality as much, right? Um, Heinz just sucks. I have like no opinion on Heinz other than he's just the worst, you know? Warped familiar relations and his boar clumsily trying to bring them together. Let him do cook. And, oh yeah, and then she, Herc summoning a sword. Uh, let me see that. Okay, so it really just got summoned from your hand, it looks like. Or like drawn from somewhere. What was it called? The Yang Sword? Shout out to Al, bro. It's her same color scheme, too. So this is probably a custom sword that she can, like, she has power over. Instead of, like, a magic item that she has. A Metia, a metia rather. Pulling out the Yang Sword. Or maybe, maybe it is a Metia, but like, it seems extra connected with her because of the color palette, right? Um, so it makes me think that her ability to do this, as I already said, is connected to her affinity with like light, um, in the same way, which is Yang, um, in the same way that Subaru has an affinity with shadow Yin, right? So I just wanted to reiterate that I think that's what's going on with her. Shout out the Sun Princess, which was her, um, her moniker, right? So that all makes a lot of sense. Oh, another thing I want to, um... Julius and Subaru, last engagement. I just I just need to rewatch what's the last thing they did before this episode, because like they obviously still have like a somewhat strained relationship. I felt like they were on the path to like bettering their relationship, so I just would probably want to see exactly where they were at before this episode. Um, yeah. Also, Liliana, listen, ReZero isn't a musical. And no offense, I get it. I get it, but I don't want to be hearing about the quote unquote age difference of love anymore, okay? This is not this is not bars. <laughs> this shit is not bars. That's sus. Everyone says it's weird. Well, maybe it is a little bit. Hmm? Hmm? If I stand up straight, I can reach you. And then Subaru starts singing too. I'm sorry, Subaru, but you do not have the vocals. It's okay. I love you, my brother. You do not got the vocals. All right? Like, like if you want to go to karaoke, we should sing at karaoke, but, like, you're not going to get on America's Next uh, Top freaking Model or whatever the name of that show is. <laughs> like, 
Like, this is the same episode where we had the piss, the pissing child thrown off of the a, a, a building and die. You know what I mean? That's crazy. ReZero has it all. Hmm. Yeah. She got that same madness that Beetle Goose has for sure, if nothing else. I know I keep saying that, but yeah. Um, Mimi, get out of my show. I'm sorry, but Mimi's voice just bothers me. It's just so high pitched. And it's like so childlike. I'm so I'm so so tired of it, man. Uh how old is Mimi again? I don't even remember. I don't even remember if Mimi is one of those like I'm actually 12 or I'm actually 300, but I just act and look 12 characters. You know what I mean? It, to me in my head, it's like same difference. You know, if you look and act like a child, there's no, it's just you're a child. It just is what it is. But like, like, and, and, and my, per my reasoning for that, I don't want to get into all this shit, but my reasoning for that is that she and the rest of the actual normal children here are on the same wavelength. You know what I mean? Like she and Bullhead and Garfield's like half brother or whatever, and these two rando others, they're all on the same wavelength. They're all the same height and they're all doing the same, the same thing. Man, Garfield is going through his own PTSD, hallucination. I need to be strong. I'm not worthy of anything. I almost died in my Elsa fight. I have trauma with my mother. He's going through an entire ringer of his own psychological issues right now. And it's like not even in the top five most pressing issues. You know what I mean? We got Regulus around. We got Sirius around. We got like the 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 princesses trying to be the the royal selection going around. You know, we got the Wilhelm family drama. We got Puck and the Crystal. Garfield is like so low on the like importance list right now. It's depressing. Oh my goodness, I'm so hungry. I need to snack today. I need to snack today. Okay, what else do we need? What else do we? I got what I need to research. Um, I feel pretty good about that. I honestly feel pretty good. I feel like this was, um, it helped that did uh, that partial season one binge earlier, because I feel like we're already on the ReZero mindset, largely. I'm sure the comments won't agree with me. <laughs> Shout out the comments. <laughs> They're not going to be happy with me. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but I do, I do feel like a lot of this is, is making a lot of sense. I feel like a lot of things were like, like there were a lot of moments of like, like Subaru getting mad about um, the Archbishop of Gluttony being brought up, right? And I was like, oh, that's because of Rem, right? And, it, and then it was. It's like things like that where it's like, oh, like the very specifics we need to dive back into, but the broad strokes I think are still cooking in my brain. Um, it also helps that they were doing some like exposition dumps here and there. Like this, the telling of Subaru's different like exploits is a really good way to... Um, did, did we ever... We never, we never said Beetle Goose's full name in this episode, right? Um, but a really good way to like remember things, right? Oh my goodness. I just can't bro. Too many high-pitched squeak characters. I can't do it with the high-pitched squeak characters. It just it just it just is like my brain starts to like melt a little bit. Yeah. Okay, what else do I even have to say right now? Um Felt, I still has my vote. Family drama I'm interested in. Garfield shit, I'm obviously ready for. I feel bad for Garfield. Um, uh, the Elsa fight with Garfield, put that on the list. Put that on the list. Um, yeah. Because I do remember him getting really big, and then like there was like the rubble collapsing. Shit was going crazy. My goodness, Elsa. Even in your hallucination form, you got them. Here's you've been caring for my son. She, oh, she doesn't recognize Garfield, bro. Oh, cause she is wearing it, right? She is wearing that amulet there. Blue necklace. Is that the same one? I don't think so, actually. No, it's different. Cause, oh, cause the other one's for Derricka's, yeah? That's gotta be her though. I mean, there's no way they're doing this scene and it's a look-alike. You can't do a look-alike, right? Not when the, the resemblance is that, like, one-on-one. -on -one. Dude, that could have been the end of an episode in and of itself. That was at the halfway point. My goodness, bro. OST, shout out to the OST. The OST was really cooking this episode. Um, so I really liked that.
Yeah. Honestly, there was a lot of like slice of, slice of life moments mixed into which which was fun just to like get get the personalities of the characters reestablished because that's one of the hardest things, right? New season, you got to get everything back in action, right? You got to make you gotta you gotta hit the ground running, which means it's like you got to remember all these dynamics. You got that's why it's like Rem, you know that little scene with Rem. It's like that's Loki a reminder to the audience. Yeah, don't forget about Rem. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended, right? So them them hitting they had to like hit so many beats. Um yeah. Okay. Shoot, is that good for this episode? Uh I feel like next episode is going to be a really long episode for us. I I'm, I feel like the episode's going to be like 20 30 minutes, right? But um because there's going to be a lot of recapping to do, I'm probably going to leave it at that because I want to be nice and concise on these videos. I don't want to yammer too much for y'all. Um, but I'm very intrigued to see where this is going. It looks like we already have two. There's probably more um, archbishops in the city. So shit's going to hit the fan. We know the city is going to get flooded at some point by that control tower getting taken over. We know that the emergency alarm system is going to be relevant in the future as well. All right. They are sowing seeds everywhere. We just need to be sure that we're ready to reap the harvest. Okay reap the harvest you know what i mean um oh but i'm oh okay. last thing can you imagine sirius doing her like using her power on other <gasps> that is an elf ear that is an elf ear this shit pointed oh shut up shut up elf ear okay now i need to go back into the amelia family drama Okay, Amelia family backstory is has been getting, getting added to my rewatch shopping list because elf ear, silver hair, purple eye. I should have thought with the purple eye. That's obvious. That's obvious. I didn't even look at the purple eye. That's an Amelia eye, yeah. Amelia got that eye color. She does. Oh my goodness. Wait, is this like her? Is this Fortuna, her aunt, or some shit? What happened with them? Oh my. This is what I'm talking about, guys. There's so much happening in this show. That this serious lady, she probably is for, is she Fortuna? I don't remember what happened to Fortuna in the backstory. Oh my goodness. Because this could be Amelia's aunt. Because it look, it's, that's definitely an Amelia connection. This is an Amelia connection, bro. A hundred percent. Elf ear plus purple eye plus silver hair. What happened to Fortuna in the backstory? I don't have any of those episodes downloaded, so I can't look right now. Okay, it's on the shopping list. It's on the shopping list. Shout out the Discord, where I'm definitely going to be talking to a people a lot about my shopping list so that we can get our information back in action. Because that's 100% what's going on, but I don't know how. Because I don't remember the specifics. Oh my goodness. That's so bad for our sanity. That's so bad for Amelia's sanity in the future. You know? Because Amelia's going to have to deal with this. That's going to be so hard for her. Subaru is my goat though. The hardest, one of the things though, how are we going to mind break Subaru is the question. Cause that's the thing with Subaru. He has been mind broken and returned from the brink multiple times because he's my goat and that's what he does. So you got to come up with like new and innovative ways to destroy him or else you can't have him be destroyed. You know, cause it's like, we've already done so much shit with him losing his mind that we got to like come up with new ways to do it. But it's not, but it's also true that like, just because you bring yourself back from the brink once doesn't mean that you're like immune to like psychological damage henceforth, right? That's just not the case, right? It's like what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Is that even true? Or maybe what doesn't kill you wounds you and makes you weaker. You know what I mean? Maybe you're just being chiseled down into a pile of fine ash. You ever thought about that, right? Dust in the wind. So, you know, I'm intrigued to see how Subaru's psych sanity, let's say, holds up. But my good man, maybe I should even do like a, maybe I should do an extra episode between this episode and next episode. That's just a recap episode where we go through my shopping list and get ourselves caught up. Maybe I don't even need to put that as part of the next episode. Let me know what y'all, what y'all think in, of course, the comments down below. I do want to hear what y'all think. If you've made it this far in the video, you gotta be subbing. You gotta be subscribing. Okay. Because this season's about to be crazy. And you gotta, you, if you want to watch the videos, you gotta be, um, I'm gonna be in your feed. Okay. Like the video, of course, as well. It really does help me out. It lets me know that y'all are interested in ReZero. It keeps me making these quick because when y'all don't love my videos, I get a little slow with them sometimes. That's just how it goes, but that's okay. Honestly. Uh, oh, shoot. One more thing. Um, I'm adding to my rewatch shopping list everything we know about previous isekai people. Because um, I remember the tree 
the tree that the whale died at had something to do with an isekai person. Al, I'm pretty sure is isekai. I'm not pretty sure. I know is isekai. Shout out the cut, cut content. We are a cut content reaction channel. Um, and then the person that did like the bathhouse stuff was uh, isekai. So we need to make sure I'm not forgetting anything with that. But wow, a million things to keep track of. But that's the fun of ReZero, right? On to the next episode uh two of season three should be exciting of course of course of course if you like the video like the video subscribe if you are new blah 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 comment below if you have anything to say or join the discord and talk to me other re-zero fans there but until then until the next episode that's all i got for tonight i will be seeing you then peace